Welcome back to Marsh RC. This video is brought to you today by White Rose Hobbies. We're actually here at the shop at White Rose Hobbies. Um, this is just a little unboxing video of a package we have for a couple builds that we're working on. Um, this package actually got lost in the mail for like four days. It's pretty horrible. Um, but if you guys are following along on the channel, you missed some of the trucks that we're working on. Um, these are a lot of the parts for those builds. So we're going to open this up pull out the parts, check them out. So this is actually just a big box of Knight's custom parts. Um, we actually now have a direct account with Knight's custom. So make sure you check out the links in the below, links below to check out White Rose Hobbies. If you have anything um, that you want, if we don't have it in stock, let us know, we can get it in. Um, <clears throat> so this is our first shipment of stuff that we needed for the build, for the couple builds that we we're working on. We actually had this particular shipment uh, drop shipped from Knights uh, from Shapeways, so this didn't come directly from him because it so it doesn't have the nice um, Knight custom packaging, but that's because it's for our builds for coming up, so we didn't really care about that. Um, but we got some inner fenders. We got a grill. Rotor packs for the windows. Rotor packs to actually put in there. This is a hood kit. So the two trucks that we're actually working on with these for the, the builds that we're doing are actually the Axial 67C10 body and the uh, Axial 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, actually the CRC edition. So all these parts coming out of here are for those two trucks. Here is the motor for the C10. Motor parts for the C10. More rotor packs. This is the um, like a rear carrier for the rotor packs and basket for um actually you can put it on anything honestly rotopex these are the fender body armor for the jeep for the front actually this is the rear body armor for the jeep inner fender wells for the jeep This is the inner fender wells and motor bay for the C10. Hood for the Jeep. Big part, which is broken. Oh no, it comes like that. That's right. Never mind, it's not broken. That's the way it prints out. Let me open it up and double check. Yeah, that's the way it comes. Never mind, it's not broken. It was just it seemed I forgot about the seam right here in the side. It's so it can flex a little bit and not break. That's the bed tray. And that is it for our big box of goodies from Knight Customs. We have another shipment coming, but it's directly from Knight Custom. Um, let's open up some of these parts and have a look. We'll start with the C10 since I already opened up the C10 stuff. So here's the front engine bay for the uh, C10. Keep all the stuff together here. This is the hood kit and hinges for the uh, C10. <coughs> All the pieces that you need there. This is the engine accessory pack for that. Yeah, a bunch of engine accessories in here. And then this is the engine itself.
Very nice detail. So that's everything we have for the C10 at the moment. And we'll do some quick checking out of the Jeep stuff. So this is the hood that we have. It's kind of hard to see a lot of the detail because it's all black. Get it in different lighting. There we go. So that's that. Then we have the front body armor. Now these come attached, that's just how they print, so you actually just cut them. The rear box. That was, that was weird, my video cut out, we'll be back. Um, but it goes around, as I was saying, this rear body armor goes around the rear light, where the rear light buckets would be. Has a gas cap printed on there. Very nice detail. Um, I'm not going to open these up. These are just the inner fender wells for the Jeep. Front grill with the angry eye already molded into it. And then this is the all one piece window. Whoop. You cut out the rear window, put these in, cut these out obviously. And these pop in right where the window sits. And it's the already molded one piece. It's not like the separate ones over there. But I'll show you here in a second. I'll open this first. This is the rear carrier, it has the basket. It doesn't hold a tire. It's not meant to hold a tire. Um, it actually is just meant to hold the, the rotor packs and have a little basket at the top. Basically what you do with this, cut these off and they actually fit into here. You can either put these braces vertically or horizontally if you can figure out how to do it horizontally. Um, but then you have like these rotor packs here. So on these rotor packs, when you buy them like this, um, it actually comes with a cap right here. So the cap will go where obviously the cap would go. Um, and then these two pieces here are what you use to actually hold these in. So if you're only gonna have them single stacked, you can use a smaller one. And that's how it attaches to like on here. And if you wanna double stack them like this, if you wanna double stack them, um, you use the longer one and it'll go through both and hold that way. So it's really up to you on how you want to do them. And the nice thing about these rotor packs here, it's kind of really hard to pick up on camera, but you can actually see a line. Hold on, who is this? Um, if you actually see the line up at the top, kind of, that actually says rotor packs and has the rotor packs logo. But with this being a white, this lighting it's kind of really hard to see it is on the red one as well so that's what these are um that's all we got right now like i said we have more coming in later on that we actually you know for the shop in stock and a few customer orders already um this is just stuff for two of the trucks that we're going to be running at motorama so we wanted to get these as quickly as possible because we have what just over two weeks now until motorama so we want to make sure we had plenty of time to get these parts in and installed before motorama so as always guys like share subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one